everybody and welcome to ECG Plays Blood on the Clock Tower. I'm Scuba Steve and today is a very exciting day because we are going to play a, uh, a community or Twitch redemption script written by Ebeza and Gibbo, cashed in by Gibbo, called Steiner Math, which uh, of course makes a ton of sense because uh, the numbers don't lie and they spell disaster. And with that, let's pick us some characters. <laughs> I was just looking at this character bit thinking, hmm, how does this feel? What would I change? I started clicking on some things. I don't know how I feel about Widow. But I was just thinking like, all right, since Steiner math is ridiculous, uh, let's put as much numeric and information gathering in as we can with as much poisoning <laughs> <laughs> and drunkenness as we can and just see how crazy it gets although if we do have a balloonist uh, that does mean that we're going to add another outsider unless we switch maybe the widow actually i kind of like that idea now godfather minus one so balloonist plus one godfather minus one we tell the godfather that there's a goon and a sweetheart in play that makes it a bit more challenging for the godfather because if they were the one to attack the goon uh Yes, Puzzle Master is extra. <laughs> but Goon swings both ways, right? So, uh, and, and Sweetheart at least isn't permanent. It's if you die. That was, that was my thinking with avoiding the Puzzle Master there. Um, in this script, it's definitely required for me to mention that uh, the, if the mathematician is in the game, which I think I would like them to be. Um, yeah, that's a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're storm caught. So we are going to have a storm caught mathematician, which means all of the evil players are going to know exactly who the mathematician is, which gives obviously the poison or the opportunity to just go ahead and poison lock them. Um, but that of course prevents the poisoner from doing any other damage. So I think this actually would work out really well, as well as Steiner math could possibly work out. I think I've convinced myself, so let's do it. <laughs> Uh, so for bluffs, I think since we have a puka, I like fisherman as a bluff because you could be lied to. Um, investigators a little obvious. Bounty hunter is too. Puzzle master actually would be a great one because there's a balloonist in the game. I like that. Uh, Poppy Girl feels bad. Let's give him Cordy. I don't want to give him anything that necessarily is going to be sacrificial. Should we go with Cordy or Bounty Hunter? I think Bounty Hunter creates some scary... If there's really a Bounty Hunter, then there's four evils, right? Um, I like that. Investigator... I thought about Investigator Chat. Um, it's really risky... I mean, if you could just assign bluffs, like, I'd say, well, Investigator wouldn't be so bad for the Godfather. I definitely wouldn't want to hang it on the Poisoner. That would be rough. Uh, but you know what? Let's let him... That, let's let him make something up. Let's give him that. And send them all to bed. <laughs> all right. So, when we wake them up, we will let them all know that the uh, there was a storm catcher the storm cop table <sighs> otherwise let's get into this night order yeah it looks I, like a third grader oh i think uh, that's supposed to be part of the appeal because they took inspiration from into the spider verse regarding a hello dak hello steve i'm i'm waiting <laughs> Are we waiting for somebody? Okay. Yeah, there we go. Hey. Hey, hey, gang! I'm here to let you know that your demon is just Jack. Oh, okay. Really, this time? Or is he a magician? I didn't give you two, did I? No. <laughs> sorry, I know we're not supposed to do that. This is the only game we're playing today, and just Jack is the demon. Yes, I'm sorry. Very All excited. Right. Thank you. <laughs> sorry, Steve. Bye. I can edit this out. I can edit this out. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh.
Hello, Just Jack. <laughs> Broke my streak of being on the good team. <laughs> and, and, I, and, and I have a tough demon to play. <laughs> but least you could have done was maybe the leech. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First... Least you can do is tell me you were from the Yankees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chat, uh, if you know that movie, put it in the chat. And if you're watching this back on YouTube, <laughs> put it in the comments. Um, Please do. All right. So first, I'm going to tell you that your dirty little ne'er do wells are Z oh, and Dak. I really hope one of them is a boom dandy. <laughs> Z and Dak. All right. And my uh, bluff doonies Your bluff doonies are Fisherman. Ooh. Puzzle Master. Ooh. And Investigator. Oh, okay. I probably will take Puzzle Master. Also, Cookie is the okay. storm caught mathematician storm cut mathematician and you're not giving me a lunatic yet nope Poo. <laughs> all right thank you very much all right i'll see you bye -bye. Hey. hello z uh, before you make your selection, I would like to inform you that Cookie is the storm caught mathematician. Uh, okay. Storm caught math. Um, did you already go over the storm catcher rules for chat, or can we kill two birds with one stone? You can go over them with me right now. <laughs> Well, if that's a request, I'm happy to oblige. Um, so the storm catcher fable means that a player is storm caught. Uh, evil knows exactly who they are. Uh, evil cannot kill said player in the night. Um, the only way that person can die is by nomination. Okay. All right, cool. And they know that they're storm caught. Oh, yeah, especially in this, you know. Yep. Yeah, okay. All right, great. Can I make my selection? Absolutely. I would like to poison um, Astra because they wanted, to, they 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 requested this. Okay, Astra it is. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> yes, it's a good point, chat. Yes, uh, Stormcot is completely protected. So I think I actually might have misspoke earlier when I was talking. Um, a Stormcot character will receive sober and healthy information. So the math should be fun. And Astra is poisoned. Let's let Dak know. Come on, Dak. Don't do me like that. <laughs> Hello, Dak. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was chatting with Cal. Uh, no worries. Um, two things for you. First, uh, Cookie is the storm caught mathematician. Okay, I'll get that in a second. <laughs> and I'm here what to let you, you know there is a goon and a sweetheart in play. Okay. All right. I got it. Thank you very much. All right. I'll see you later. All right. Cheers. All right. I guess I was correct in my statement earlier. Thank you for thank you, chat. Thank you, Mathblade, for the clarity. Um. So yeah. Um. According to the wiki, it just says, uh, if the good characters in play, they can only die by execution. Evil players learn who it is. So yeah, they can be poisoned. Fun. 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 <laughs> All right, let's see who's next. Uh, we've got Godfather. Oh, we gotta get our pick a choice. Please choose a, a player. I have a fascinating question. Mm -hmm. Since the mathematician is storm caught, and can only die by execution. 
Can I still pick the mathematician as the puka? That way they're at least poisoned information forever. I'm, I'm going to rule yes. So a puka choice is poisoned. And then the following night when the poison wears off, they die. But they can't die to anything other than execution. So it would just wear off. Oh, all right. So it wouldn't be like... Because it, it wears off when the character dies. So since they can't die... <laughs> no, 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 no. I was hoping it you... would just carry through. No. <laughs> oh, well, that ruins everything, man. No, you, don't get, you don't get the perma poison. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Even, even if that was a technicality, I'm not going to allow that. <laughs> that breaks all the right. game. <laughs> well, you know what? We should bring that up on Grim Scenarios, which yes, you can absolutely. see every Wednesday. <laughs> all right. So uh, let me... Emma and Milk. <laughs> and, and Milk, yes. Uh, let's, uh, let's poison and hit Christine tonight, please. Okay, Christine it is. We'll see you tomorrow. Right, thank you. Oh, wow. What a great pick. <laughs> I think they're immediately going to start thinking uh, self-poisoning widow with that pick. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, let's pick a... Um, what's this? Let's pick a... Let me show you guys this. That's there we go. <laughs> um, let's. We need to choose our red herring. So, who do I want to pick as a red herring? Okay. It would be hilarious to make the goon the red herring. <laughs> because if they were to keep checking the goon, they'd just be drunk. <laughs> Unfortunately, if I never tell them that, the only thing they're ever going to get a yes on is the demon. Um, Cookie the Red Herring. I do like that. The Stormcott character. Does that is that a feels bad scenario? Hmm. Nope. I think I like it. <laughs> you know. Well, hold on. The Steward might be a good one, or the Chambermaid might be a good one. I kind of like, I mean, all right, I, chat, I, I, I very much enjoy the let's make the Stormcod character be the red herring. Um, it feels almost metaable, which probably means I should do it. <laughs> um, I do like the, the loss, but the, it's tough. The balloonist is, eh. I, 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 I don't think I want to do that. I think I am going to just make cookie be the red herring i think i like that idea now let's go see jp hello jp i just got up to like turn my light on and my fan <laughs> like hey, bing i'm like uh oh <laughs> <laughs> and now you have a fan with you um, <laughs> yeah. number one fan. <laughs> All right. Who would you like to gaze into your crystal ball at tonight? Uh, so I'm going to change it up instead of doing my neighbors like I always do. Uh, I'm going to do Cookie and Just Jack. You do Cookie and Just Jack and learn that, yes, one of them is the demon. Cool. Thank you. You got it. Wow. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever seen that. That's wow. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go. What are we going to tell blind? We are going to tell blind who is good, who is definitely good. I think we're going to tell blind the lost. I like that. Hello, blind. What is this script? There's seven, I got seven ways I can be droisoned. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you that the lost is good. Okay. Thank you. All right. See you in the morning. Ah, uh, it's time to pick. Let's see. Who do I want to 
give. Hmm. Let's show maybe the goon. I think that's the funniest, actually. I like that the best. Because <laughs> if the information comes out, they might have everybody trying to tap the goon. <laughs> uh, all right, Astra is poisoned, and then we go see Cookie. We'll make sure that Cookie understands the dynamic. Hello. Hello, amazing Astra. Please choose two rooms to clean. Uh, let's go with Afro and Jules, please. Uh, let's see. You check Afro and Jules, and you learn one of them woke tonight. All right. Thank you so much. You got it. Bye. Which is, of course, a lie. <laughs> um, all right. So... Astra got incorrect information because of someone else's. And that's it, actually. Fun. Hello, Cookie. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, so I jumped into this game and I was like, I'm full of energy. I can go. And like, just as we've been sitting here, I've just been like, <laughs> well, I think it's apropos that in a game called Steiner Math, you get to be the Stormcott Mathematician. <laughs> Yay. So Evil Team knows who I am. Or no, yep. yeah, they know who I am. Yep. Right? Okay. They know who you are and they cannot kill you. Uh, and I'm here to tell you that precisely one player's ability worked abnormally due to another's. Got it. Sweet. Thank you. You got it. Did you? <laughs> this is going to be so fun. <laughs> Good morning, Ravenswood Bluff. The magic hour is upon you, where we announce the death of the storyteller. It's getting kind of old, though. Feeling a little abused. I'm feeling a little old. Um, Welcome to Steiner Math, where the numbers don't lie and they spell disaster. Uh, you guys have about seven minutes on day one. Try to make them come. We also have a storm caught mathematician. Mathematician. Uh, yes, thank yep. you for that reminder. Uh, if there is a mathematician in play, they are storm caught, which means the, if there <clears throat> is one, the evil team knows who they are and they cannot kill them at night. Anyone here a widow? I clicked on that a second too late, Cookie. That's fine. Let's try again. Ah, uh, you know what? I, I like announced, in the, but I didn't talk to you. Uh, I sh <laughs> I tell you that high, high up in the sky, you spy with your little eye, a Yumi. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> That's what I put you out. Okay, great. Who did uh, you poison? I poisoned hat. Astra. Do what? Excellent hat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was playing um, with the thing. Okay, cool. Who did you poison? You said Z. Astra. Astra. Okay. Um. Oh. To talk to me immediately. Okay. So I'm suspicious that my yes might be real and it might be cookie. Um. I would make an interesting red herring tell you that um it would not be if i was a storyteller uh it would not be the choice i would make uh for a red herring but feel free to follow your gut i i like i said i think you're good because of the fact that you did not nobody requested a chat with you you didn't request a chat you didn't announce that you were sticking around town mm -hmm. so i'm gonna guess that either you're my red herring and cookie's good or cookie's mm -hmm. just potentially the demon <laughs> so oh. Could, a cookie could also be a red herring. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I, I would imagine, like, of the two of you, if one of you was the demon, it would be Cookie rather than you. But... Um, I will say that um, potentially you could have some misinformation. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. For, for I mean, there's there's a lot. Not only a lot of poisoning on this script, but I have reason to believe that it's possible that you could be poisoned. It's remote, but it's possible. 
Yeah, poisoned or drunk or. Yeah, oh yeah, because yeah, there's a like a puzzle. Sailor. Or and... Yeah, a sailor. Yeah. Got it. Oh, okay. Um. Let's do. I'll do a three. Let's do a three. That's fun for day one. Okay. I will give you steward. I will give you sailor or sweetheart. Okay. You said steward, sweetheart, sailor, and what else? Sweetheart. For alliteration purposes. Oh, three. Yeah, three S's. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, slayer, fisherman, poppy grower. Ooh. Okay. I have picked all of the spices of life today. <laughs> Perfect. I love this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. All right. Thank you. No worries. I just want to talk to you and see what you want to give me. Okay. Why is that? Because we share information. Oh, and is I... that how this game works? I'm assuming. Okay. Well, what, what, what? type of information are we sharing? Ones, twos, threes? I'll follow your lead. Uh, <laughs> what, whatever you want to do. I'm the puzzle master. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, okay! Do you Good! Like cooking? I do love... Uh, yeah. Okay. This game's kind of like a puzzle. Alright, uh, I'll share with you that I am your mathematician. Ah! You are storm caught. I am. We got a one last night, and <laughs> I'll. One. Yep. So it's possible. Now I have heard of other rules that do cause drunkenness. So. Yes, it's true. Let me... But there. But yeah, you might have puzzled drunk somebody who has a night one ability. It's possible. Yeah. So. All right. Well, I can't wait to solve this puzzle together. Same. Mm -hmm. All right. Good luck. Bye. Bye. We'll tell you that I'm either the steward or the sweetheart. <laughs> oh, I love that. Have you spoken with Esther at all, by chance? I have not. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, I'm going to tell you the same. I'm either the steward or the sweetheart. Okay. Sounds great. Cool. Thank you, Christine. Awesome. All right. Uh, I am either the slayer or the fisherman. Slayer. I'm the fisherman. I haven't asked my uh, for my advice yet. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Did Z tell you that there is a dude and a sweetheart? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, I believe Afro to be the sweetheart. So. Afro to which uh, which demon are you, by the way? I'm the pooper. So, oh um, okay. yeah, I know it's, 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 it's a tough one. Um, it's one of my favorites, but it's tough. Um, yeah. I'm so yeah, I'm gonna take Fisherman. Um, okay. I, I'm, I'm gonna okay. try to put off using it for now. Yeah, I'll put you down as fish. So. Okay, sounds Donkey good. Dog. Um, right. JP is the fortune teller, so if we get a godfather kill, please kill him. Okay, okay. not a problem. If, I, if yeah. I get a godfather kill, that'll be my kill. All right, thank you. Ouch. All right. Yeah. Not mathematician or no dashy. Okay. Yeah, but those are my hints as to my real role by what I'm not. Mm hmm. Okay, cool. I love Thank puzzles you. that can't be solved for you, Jules. <laughs> Good luck. Um, If you're the balloonist, you're confirming an outsider. If you're the bounty hunter, you're probably puzzle master drunk and possibilities okay so you're saying you're an outsider or what yeah like depending on which role you are if you're the balloonist then you're confirming an outsider if you're the bounty hunter you are either a uh, widow poisoned poisoned or you're puzzle drunk all right that sounds good to me I will say I am not claiming t uh, outsider to other people. I've been claiming townsfolk rules to other people, just so that you're aware. Okay. I okay. I've, I've heard a godfather might be drunk. A, a godfather drunk? By Cordier, yeah. 
Godfather drunk by Cordy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. I was like, huh? oh, how does that, how does that work? But now that makes sense. Yes. Okay. I will say that I am also once per game in a sense. Once per game in a sense. Okay. Yep. So something with my ability will trigger once per game. Um, okay. Uh, are you claiming townsfolk as well? I have a townsfolk, yep. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Puzzle master or what? Slayer. But if I'm the puzzle master, it's definitely not you, because if you're the bounty hunter, you definitely got correct info. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Any info to well, get revenge is good info. Well, if you want to uh, put Yumi up, I will certainly vote for her. Um, if I am the bounty hunter, I don't want to draw any suspicion to myself for nighttime kills. So, Well, the last, maybe this is my, my new play, is to claim bounty hunter and fish there. Dong. <laughs> yeah. Dong. I don't know what you're talking about. Either. I, have no <laughs> I have no regrets. I have no regrets. No regrets. No regrets. No regrets. Mine was a lie. It was a gaslight, everyone. All <laughs> right, everybody. For violating the dong, nominations are open immediately. <gasps> Right away. Bloodthirsty town. Uh, I missed <laughs> it earlier. Did anyone say if they heard a widow's call? Mm -mm. I did not. I did not. JP nominates Christine. JP <laughs> nominates Christine. Please tell us why. Oh my god. Uh, I've talked to a few people, and there's some information going around that I don't want to share at the moment because I don't want to out people's roles, but that points to Christine possibly being evil. Christine, what do you have to say about that? Um, I would love to know what these things are. Um, I can't really defend myself against people and vague evil plots, but I promise I'm good, and I'm part of the townsfolk. All right, it'll take six to put Christine on the block. I'm gonna say I am voting on everything today except for myself. So we appreciate oh. your honesty, Dad. Ooh, this well, is well. That way, the but if the butler picks me, that it's okay. Not a good. This is spicy. This is interesting. This is very six interesting. Is enough, Christine. Miss Mark for execution. Second call for noms. Ah, oh, why did you guys have to vote like that? <laughs> Sorry. Um, Jules nominates JP. Jules nominates JP. Please tell us why. Yeah, that was a lot of votes to get on a basically nothing um, mm -hmm. accusation. And given what JP has claimed to me, this is probably good either way. JP, your defense. Um, I mean, it was just enough votes, and... I don't know how that gets turned around on me. Because if you get six votes on, or seven votes on me, that's a lot for nothing, too. But a one, six to the other. All right. It'll take seven to put JP on the block. Six to tie. Wouldn't that be half a dozen or one? Fourteen or nine? info. JP shared <laughs> some info with me in the private chat, which leads me to believe JP a little bit. Who shared info with you? Yeah. JP did. So. Oh, that makes sense. Can I ask what yeah, these whatever. talks are so I know who to nominate? Uh, so. Cookie will nominate the bl uh, will blind. <laughs> <laughs> was, was that a Freudian slip? I'm, I'm <laughs> doing all right. Demon. <laughs> it's fine. Cookie, please tell us why blind should replace Christine today. Sorry, I was trying to say blind for whatever reason the lost was coming to mind and not blind, but that's not why I'm nominating him. Uh, I'll leave this up to blind on whether or not this is okay. 
uh, or not to go through with. Um, but I think we should get Christine off the block personally. All right, blind your defense. Um, decide for yourselves. All right, six to tie, seven to die. Here we go. Cookie is one of three people I told my real role to. Everyone else I lied to. I don't want to. I know. I hate to say it, but just in case. Okay. Four is not enough. Final call. Uh, Chris. Christine nominates Yumi. Christine nominates Yumi. Tell us about it. Uh, so they're in a bounty hunter ping. All right. Yumi, oh. your defense. Uh, I don't believe the bounty hunter. I believe that they were either poisoned or they're the other role in their twos that they claim to me, but I don't believe that they're the bounty hunter. All right. This is not good. Once again, it'll take six to tie, seven to die. It's like if there's no widow, I'm more inclined to think that they're either puzzle drunk or that they've been poisoned at night if they're the bounty hunter, but I am not evil. Die it. Boo. I will never Shot put my hand up. Not enough. All right. If there are no more noms, I'll bring the day to a close in 10. Do we have any other info? I don't have anything yet. I have some info that I'll share with you, Astra, I guess. But you're not going to like it. Christine <laughs> is executed and dies. Good night, everyone. Perfect timing, Ronan. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, let's go, CC. Hello. Hi. I should have coordinated with Jack on who to poison. Uh, can I? Po I'll poison. Um, uh, he's probably gonna. Poison JP, I bet, because JP hard claim to him. So I'm going to poison. Oh, uh, can I? Am I allowed to poison Cookie? Yep. All right, I'll poison Cookie. Okay. Thanks. Hello. Well, that didn't go very well. <laughs> no death tonight. Man. So my temptation would be to hit Cookie here, but then there will be no deaths again tomorrow. JP said he was the fortune teller. But I have Dak on that one, and there's a goon in play, so it might behoove me to try and find the goon. Who would you make the goon? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try Jules. All right, Jules it is. See you tomorrow. Thank you. First stream yesterday? Yeah. No. It was, it was so nice to see him streaming again. I missed it. You said Batter Street? Yeah, he streamed yesterday for like six hours. Hello, JP. Oh, I hope that uh, I didn't get uh, a good kill <laughs> or yesterday. Um, so originally I was going to pick like Christine and Afro, but uh, I killed Christine. Uh, so I will pick uh, Afro and Astra. Uh, you picked Afro and Astra and learned that no, neither one of them is the demon. Thank you. You got it. But then with rain boots, and <laughs> I felt really silly until everybody except for me at this concert with like 
thousands of people was freaking out because there was mud everywhere and I was just marching on marching through that turf like it was nothing. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah. Who did you see play yesterday? I saw Jid, who I really liked. I'd never heard before. My husband's way more into music than I am, so he like knows all the artists. I don't know anybody. Pink was like the closer, and Pink she oh, did a nice. great job. She was like doing like aerials like up in a harness and stuff and dancing like Damn. beautifully and then flume we saw flume too flume was i'm trying to decide who to um who to show the lost uh and thank you chat thank you egg for pointing out that I need to update the icon on the <laughs> on the strip over there it's supposed to be him <laughs> um no, the town, they don't see, only you, only the viewers see that. The town sees what's actually on the script and it's in. Um, mm, 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 mm. I almost want to show blind as a townie, although showing cookies is a lot of fun. Um, mm. da, 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 da. I think I'll show blind. on need yeah. to get out a lot of people the, the noise and everything and it like my brain just sh sort of shuts down hello lost hello a uh, steve i dropped by to tell you that hi hi up in the sky you spy with your little eye blind thank you sir and uh, i will point out it is a fairly large eye I mean, it fits a hat and a duck on it. So. <laughs> well, makes it makes you that much more of an effective balloonist. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> See ya. Pay for my birthday with tickets to something, and it was all I knew was that it was in the city. It was and what date it was, and that I had to like you know dress up nicer. And I... yay! Hi. Hi. Let's go with Afro and Z, please. Uh, you check Afro and Z and learn one of them woke last night. Those liars, those MF liars. Wow. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why the, I love the bar. Theater, uh, maybe here. <sighs> I think at least a two. I think I'm going to at least give Cookie a two. Um... Technically, the answer is one. I'm waffling if I go two or three, though. Because we could have... I think they're going to learn pretty quickly. Uh, it must have been a Puka. Puka must have poisoned Christine. I think they're going to deconstruct that as there's no Widow. So you've got Puka. You've got Poisoner. You could theoretically have a goon if that comes out. Two is definitely believable. Three is possible. With what's out there. And if, I don't know if anybody is actually claiming Puzzle Master, because that's a bluff. I'm going to go with three. Four is possible if somebody claims Puzzle Master. I'm going with three. And then San Diego, and the next month it's gonna be Reno. Hello, Cookie. Hi. I'm here to let you know that three players' abilities worked abnormally due to another's. Oh no! Four players. All right. I'll do my best. <laughs> See ya. I have to move to Chicago for it. That's all. Yeah. Good morning, Ravenswood Bluff. It's a bright morning because no one died last night. <gasps> Yay! Hmm. What? Ooh, is okay. there a pocket charge? Trap with fun. a demon? Hmm. Wait. Oh! Pucka, yeah. Was I Pucka poisoned? Oh, you were yeah. pucka poison. Is there a there could be a who might have drank with the demon? There could be a goon. There could be a sailor. I think those are the. 
Yeah, I'll park it. Right. Holy Christ. <laughs> There's no Poe, right? We don't have Hilarious. To no Poe. So. Oh, yeah. boy. Uh, you. Ooh, interesting. Um, You're lying to yeah, me. I'm, no, I, I would never like to lose. Um, yeah, interestingly, I got a two from Christine that was Steward Sweetheart. Um, yeah, Christine. I mean, maybe, maybe Christine, Christine was three. Yeah, Christine was lying. It's It was a bad yeah. kill, actually. I'm disappointed we should have lifted off of Christine. Ah, okay. It seemed, I mean, the, the effort to lift maybe seem, made it seem kind of like he was potentially evil, but... Nah, I mean, I that, that's reading maybe too much into too little information. Yeah. Um, anyway. Have you spoken with Cookie at all? Do you have a plan yeah. from Cookie? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Alright. Just wanted to update you. Vote on. I appreciate it. Thank you. Vote on Z. Okay, bye. Hope rolls to trying to get a good person to pick me if they're a picker. To see if they can check me to keep me good and then if they have controversial information then i can out to them but i've only outed to you and the sweetheart okay i won't say anything to anyone yeah if i change i'll i'll let um either of you know okay because i want to i want to play for good this game but that okay. that's that that will be my radical honesty with you uh between you and the sweetheart if anything happens to me i will let you guys know do you know anything about Blind? Because he is my second number, or second person. I did not talk to Blind yesterday. Okay. Well, he is one of two people who are claiming Sailor Steward. I mean, Christine claims Sailor Steward, sweetheart, and I know she's not the sweetheart. Um, and when I saw it, it looked like it was going to be a tie, so yeah. that's why I put my hand down. I didn't want to tie. It would be interesting to know, like, if, if Jimmy was a boom Danny, then surely all evil voted on it. Um, yeah, that's but, true. Like, <laughs> who voted on it, so. Yeah, that's true. Um, so I think we've eliminated a couple of possible options, too. I mean, no deaths indicates only a couple things. I've, I haven't heard of a, I heard of a courtier, passively a courtier who drank with a godfather, though. Yeah. Not with... I, it must be Demon. tools. I heard the same thing. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, I heard it, it from other. Blind, but... Oh, really? Yeah. That's... Wow, that's... Okay. That's interesting. But, bl but bl Blind didn't put it in, like, a twos. He just said he had heard oh, of okay. a, a courtier. Who, and I, so I just assumed that I, I've heard of it, and that I am the courtier who drank with that father, but... Yeah. Yep. And I don't think me or Dak... Well, I know I'm not, but um, I don't. I don't read Dak as the Boom Dandy. Yeah, he gave me a two, yep. and told me he was either the Slayer or the Courtier who drank with the Boom Dandy. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. So that's where my knowledge yeah. is going today, unless I'm somehow poison drunk, whatever. There is a lot of poisoning that happened last night. I will tell you. Ooh. I'm in talks with a mathematician. Ooh, what was the number from last night? Three. Ooh, that's wild. So, um, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Well. And if there were no deaths last night, I would assume that would be one of them. Well. What are you telling me? Um, are you? I'm gonna guess that you're the investigator. Yeah, I am. Okay. I saw a boom dance. Someone else was putting out investigator info. We saw it on, and I'm hoping they uh, they get, were giving it out right. You saw it on Astra or Yumi. No, Astra and Dak. Oh, okay. So that's interesting oh. that the person is giving out half partial. Uh, okay. Um. There was another evil ping I heard of on Yumi, so that might have been conflated. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, okay. What are you telling people? I'm telling people that I'm either the steward, and I'm not telling anyone who my ping is, or I am the courtier who drunk to the godfather on night one. All right. Cool. Sounds good. Bye. Yeah. Hello. Just. What's up? No, not too much. How's it going? 
Going all right. H how's being dead? Did we lose anything vital? Other than, you know, uh, yeah. your charming personality? That's not great, but um, I've only told three people. I'm going to hold on to my role to see if anyone else tries to claim it throughout the game. Okay. Um, what might you be? I am either the balloonist or the bounty hunter. Oh. If I am the bounty hunter, Yumi is the only name I've gotten. If I'm the balloonist, I have Yumi and blind. Interesting. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> or the puzzle master? Uh, or the courtier. Oh, okay. But I've heard of a... Um... Nobody's claimed it, but I've heard people talking about having heard of a courtier that drank with a godfather. So I will not get into a double claim with said courtier. Whoever that okay. is. Um, that is one of my twos. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, then I guess I gave you three. So I'll eliminate one of them by saying I'm I'm not an outsider. Um, so okay. you can go ahead and cross that one off. My other what two is, is, the other side of my two is the steward. And if it's a steward, I'm steward. not telling anyone who I'm confirming. Okay. I spoke with somebody who is hard claiming steward. So. Mm -hmm. I, like Micro Machine Man sped talk my way through that last bit. <laughs> Welcome back. I think everybody. I got most of it. It's time for more murder and mayhem. Don't everybody jump along. <laughs> well, are we still? Uh, does anybody want to admit to being evil so I could nominate you? Did yes, we resolve the Yumi situation? Like all of the Yumi situations, actually. There's no bounty hunter. There's no bounty hunter. Okay. Yeah, that's been. <gasps> what about the other stuff? Up. I don't know about what other stuff there is. Okay. Is whoever had. There's other stuff I'd like people they... to tell me to my face because no one's told me anything. Oh. Is any of the people who apparently had influence were seen? Are they sharing that info? Is or. I don't think so. Should be. Okay. I had assumed that Christine was the bounty hunter, but I am not. I, okay, I didn't talk to Christine. So. Yeah, there is someone in town that claimed bounty hunter and mm -hmm. one other role, and they are the other role that they gave me. Um, then who was the person that put out the um, bounty hunter info on you, Yumi? Do you remember? It was the same. It was the same person. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, so yeah, so I got that cleared up with them. That's why I mean, like, there's no bounty hunter. We got everything cleared up. Uh, in regards yep. to what happened with Christine, like, I didn't vote on that. I have no idea where that information came from. Because I haven't, in all my conversations with everyone, I haven't heard anything. So I don't know where that came from. Second call for noms. Uh, I've outed to half the town. Uh, do you think I should out all of my info at this early or wait? No, let's do it. We're low um, on info. Kill you. I can't kill you at night anyway. I gave, yeah. I gave oh, last man. night's number just because fair enough. people might not want to trust what they yeah. want to do. That's fair. So, I am your mathematician. Uh, I got a one on night one and a three last night. Bruh. Which is a lot. Great. That's really weird. Ongoing. Do uh, people use their one abilities? That's so. So, do we want to assume a fairly long no dash to you then, with that much the misinformation? Has anyone heard of a puzzle master by chance? I've heard of. I one. haven't. Uh, Christine, you have your hand up. Um, can the can a Stormclaw player be affected by a Nodashi? 
the yes, uh, they can okay, only terrifying. not be killed. Cool. Everything else is fair. So I could, so I could easily be either drunk or poisoned in this situation as well. That means your info based on what specifically not. It could well, it could be puzzle master drunk if there is a puzzle master in play, or poisoner because we haven't heard of a widow or um, no dashi unless. Well, if that's a poison. Someone made you the leech host. Person. But there's somebody uh, claiming sailor. But did they claim to drink with cookie? Did they tell cookie that they, that cookie was drank with? Sailor's never come to me to, uh, to tell me anything about that. Okay, then yeah, that's my point there. Because there's only so many reasons that that number can make sense or not make sense. Uh, Afro will nominate JP. Afro nominates JP. Tell us about it. Uh, mostly just didn't want a day to go by without us nominating someone. Um, also had apparently information on Christine. Uh, I don't know anything about JP, what they're claiming, what their information is, anything at all, but um, it seemed wrong to go to sleep without at least one nomination. And so I thought I'd offer this. JP, your offense? No offense. <laughs> All right, it'll take six to put JP on the block. Thank you, Dark Shadow, for the follow! Um, Thank you. Do you want to JP live? has been telling me the truth. This is I, mean, I, do, I do want to live, yeah. Okay. This is an idea. Okay. It's really hard to get a vote on JP. Well, at least not Boom Dandy. <laughs> <laughs> Final call for noms? Uh, I don't know. I don't have any good information on anybody now. Jules really hard to get a vote on JP and Jack Afro. is picking up for JP. Jules nominates Afro. Please tell us why. Uh, I don't know if anyone's heard of an Undertaker, but um, this would not be a bad role to confirm, from what I've heard. Alright, Afro, your defense. Uh, unfortunately, I have... Um, I have reason to believe this That's would be a bad game. It's, it's not going to be confirmable by an Undertaker. Alright, it'll still take six to put Afro on the block. What role would Michael You're a day late and a dollar short on your Undertaker claims, everyone. Yeah, I don't agree that this uh, this is not a great kill. Ooh, yeah. everybody wants Afro dead. But no Six vote on JP. Enough. I mean, there was still five. I on JP. We have time. We have time. Jeff, I, I, I'm not convinced that JP is evil yet. Uh, I will say this is a bad kill. <laughs> Astra nominates Z. Astra nominates Z. Please tell us about that. Uh, there's an evil thing here. All right, Z, your defense. Uh, I'm like a nothing roll, but so is Afro, so. All right, it'll take no small roles, six to after. tie, seven to put Z on the block. <laughs> Those guys shot up fast. Yeah, that's, uh, I that's have, concerning. Uh, I I trust Afro, and I don't think that it's good for them to die right now. A tie? Agreed. I didn't want a kid, but I didn't want it to tie. Seven All is right. enough. I want JP dead. I want... <laughs> I mean, okay, did not mind to me? Well, now I've no, got one more person who wants JP dead, so that's a good start. <laughs> I mean, you already voted on me anyway, Z. <laughs> I wasn't convinced. I just didn't. I wanted to get something on the block, and I'm like 50. I was 50 50, but with that. Right, but if, I, like, if I don't vote on you there, we tie, and nobody's on the block. Well, you can always get other people on the block. I haven't if nominated there are yet. No more noms. I'll bring the day to a close in 10. Vote on whatever you nominate. No, I. Rusty. I don't. I, I. I'm a fine. I'm a fine kill. I, I don't get any more info, so it's all right. Back to nominate Astro. Stack nominates Astra. Please tell us why. I've heard Astra is uh, in an investigator thing. Yeah, I've heard the same thing. <laughs> Astra, your defense. 
sure. This is fine. No, it's not. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Oh yes. Call the bluff. Call the bluff. Call oh, the bluff. Danny bluff. I want it. I want it. It'll take <laughs> eight. Yes. To put Astra on the block. Seven to tie. Come on, let's do I it. I roll a town. I roll Guys, a town. Guys, there's another hour in this time out. slot. We'll figure out if it's it, we'll we can figure play out if it's Dak or Astra. <laughs> yeah, we can run another kaboom. Yeah. Put your hand Jack, up. I love you, but no. Oh, come on. No <laughs> way. Justice for Astra. Five is not enough. <laughs> that's on me. I'll be one of the people left alive, and you'll vote to me, and we'll lose. <laughs> It'll be, uh, I guess that's true. I'll be closing the day in five. It'll probably be there, me and you. There is an evil thing between Astra and Dak, so it would could be interesting. I'll see. I think most people know about it. Is executed and dies. Good night, everyone. Oh. Oh, that was rough. <laughs> yeah. And I'm 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 in it up to my neck with JP now, yeah. for better or worse. <laughs> Thank God damn it. <laughs> so uh, um okay. Uh, if 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 I if if I'm correct, Jules was the courtier, so at least Dak will be free from courtier drunkenness. Um, but that also leaves a limited few, and JP is claiming fortune teller, and Cookie is the mathematician, Astro is the steward. So we have blind Yumi, the lost. I don't think it's Astra. Um, I haven't heard the lost say anything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a chance, leave JP alive, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the lost. Okay, the lost Hopefully is. Can... See uh, you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. At both of my neighbors, and they're. Not bad. I think it actually would have been great if Jack got lucky there and got Yumi, because then everybody would think that Z was good. They'd be like, "It's a Puka game, and we keep killing the Puka targets." <laughs> But alas, that did not happen. So now we get to lie to the lost, and I'm going to give the lost JP's name, I think. I'm only, I've only got one opportunity, because the lost will die the following night. I would love to be able to give JP and Astra. But you've got a fake dead investigator pointing at Astra and Dak for a minion, so I think I do need to go JP. And I'll just hang the demon token because I can. Poisoned. Dead. All right. Who gets to go? They got <laughs> Afro getting off the fly. I was so excited for that <laughs> drunkenness. Uh, let's go see JP. <laughs> I love it. I, I, town is so sus of me. The demon's like, I'll just keep JP alive. <laughs> 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 just hopefully somehow my information is not garbage. Uh, we'll find out. I went through that recently and they hung me out to try as the fortune teller. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, I wonder, I whispered to Z, I was like, are you, are they going to kill me to simulate a star pass or keep me alive because town's going to do it for them? <laughs> <laughs> um, it, I've sort of, I have two, two minds, right? I, part of me wants to do, and part of what I'm going to do is Jules and Astra and just keep working my way around the circle. But then the other part of me is like, maybe I pick one of the people I know I have a no on and then somebody else. And then maybe I get more information, but. I don't know. That just seems that seems lame. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, Jules and actually hold on. I did Astro already. Uh, <laughs> that would have been really embarrassing. Um, okay. What well, can't do me? I already know me. Uh, let's do Jules and uh, the Lost. All right. You check Jules and the Lost, and learn no. Neither one of them is the demon. Cool. Thank you. You got it. Oh, I was so, 
so hoping <laughs> that they would have picked Yumi. That would have been so fun. Uh, let's see here. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Hello, bunny. <laughs> All right, who's next? The Lost. Uh, we did the Lost. We got JP. Uh, we need to tell the Lost JP. Hello, Lost. Hello, hello. I dropped by to let you know that high, high up in the sky, you spy with your little eye, JP. <laughs> okay. See ya. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. We have a legit one to tell the math because of the loss and that is all what a bummer <laughs> let's go see astra shit like i got a cute set of dice for like two bucks okay hello astra oh, hi you are oh, hi. you can poison there for a second <laughs> um let's go with Cookie and blind, please. You check cookie and blind and learn one of them woke last night. Excellent news. Thank you very much. You got it. Deal with the stupid cookie. Ooh, thing. Christine, I found one that's a button up, like cardigan. All right, cookie's number is one. Let me show you this. And you should. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <Perfect timing. laughs> yeah. No, he's not really bored, chat or YouTube viewers. Uh, Cookie's been I'm up not. literally all night. <laughs> it's what I do. It's how I live. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm here to tell you that one player's ability worked abnormally due to someone else's. Interesting. I do have a question about that. Yeah. So. Abnormal abilities also include evil rolls, right? Yes. Cool. All right. Thank you. You got it. Ah, oh, I gotta take some notes. As long as you know the artist is legit. Not Good morning, place. Ravenswood Bluff. Jules has died in the night. Ah, nuts. All right, JP, lay it on me. You got. All right, so I apologize for getting you killed. <laughs> so I'm the fortune teller. I got a night one yes on Cookie and Just Jack, and Cookie didn't chat with me right away like he normally does, and went to chat with you, and then you chatted mm -hmm. with Afro, and the Cookie chat with Afro. So I thought possibly those that was the evil team. Um, ah. And then night two, I got a no on Afro and Astra. And night three, I got a no on Jules and the Loss. Okay. Uh, no, I was the Undertaker. Um, Sucks. Cookie came out to me as the Stormcrop Magician. And then I think there were only like another, there was only like one more couple in town when we got back. So then we just traded. <laughs> right. That makes sense. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that. I, if I if I survive one more night, which I don't know, I don't know that town's gonna let me do that. But if I do, I'm gonna pick probably Dak and Yumi or Dak and Blind, and see what happens there. But if not, I think I'm okay to close worlds if town wants to kill me, because I got three days of information. And if it's if it is Cookie or Just Jack, you know, if it, or if it's not rather, then it has to be one of Yumi, Blind, Jack, provided my information is accurate, which I have no way of knowing. So. So. You got a yes on Jack, but he's been backing you up as being accurate. So I told him, yeah, because I went to just Jack and I told him the whole thing about like Cookie talking to you and Afro and all that. And just Jack mm -hmm. didn't try to go talk to anyone. And I mean, sometimes I do this demon, but usually I'll accept a chat and nobody was chomping at the bit. So I, I put just Jack down as either red herring or just good. Chosen by anyone or not. And that could help with a lot of information. 
Yeah. Um, because otherwise, it's just looking like either Cookie is no Dashi poisoned or Cookie is the leech host because they can't be killed at night. But there's nothing against them being a leech host. Yeah, I was thinking when he when he gave the three, I was like, that's like leech host level information three. That's just yeah, and it's like but like it's hard to even find three things that could like, misfire. Yeah. Because it's like, I can understand if you pick me, like, if people pick me, then they're going to misfire, but nobody's told me if they picked me or not. And I've only given yeah. my hard claim to you, to Lost, and to Christine. Okay. So, everyone else, I've been saying, like, a, a mixture of, like, Slayer, Poppy Grower, Fisherman, or, like, one other role. Like, any role that basically doesn't wake at night, so if I get checked then if people are getting a number like let's say like a chambermaid checks me and gets a number on me mm -hmm. then they know they got false information because i'm trying to be straightforward without yeah. you know so yeah absolutely yeah i've not heard of any other outsiders yet either so uh we yeah it, that's what it's looking to, like it's balloon yeah. it's but yeah it's definitely looking like a balloonist uh uh like a balloonist plus one godfather minus one unless you're yeah. lying to me and Lost is lying to me specifically. Possibly. But I would I, say it, it would be very bold I, I, to lie as an outsider modifying role. No, I can I can see it. Evil can coordinate well enough to make it seem as though there's like a certain world That's with true. an outsider That's and a balloonist. It's not impossible, but I like it, don't like want to no believe... Godfather. I don't want to believe that niche possibility, which is why, like, unless... Oh, oh sorry, that oh. was my fault. Oh! <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not listening, I'm not listening, I'm not seeing it. We, stop, we stop talking. It's okay, that we stop was, talking. That was my bad. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> that, was, that was me. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, I was just like, yes, <laughs> accept, and then you just got sucked in. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've been bluffing fishermen, and now I've got to come up with some fake fisherman advice. Um, <laughs> so, crap. Is, and I can't even really probably lean on you for ad advice of any kind. I'm going, to, uh, since I'm in neck deep with JP anyway, I'm going to say... For better or worse, and I hope this doesn't make you look like an idiot of a storyteller for doing this, but <laughs> because um, you lied, that we should. <laughs> no, no, because no, I'm. I, I, this is why I don't storytell because I'm an idiot. Um, I'm gonna say that either uh, I should that 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 I should trust either the fortune tellers' information or the undertaker's information. And that's going to be my fishing And I the, hope that that's the, the only thing that I can tell you is that I wouldn't. That's I wouldn't give you two people to trust, like unless I said uh, something like so neighbors, would... like that. That's that's like two pieces of advice, right? Trust this person and right. trust that person. Like uh, <laughs> the only way that, uh, okay. that I could I could I could sneak out of that one with actual advice, which I've done once before, and I know Justin will remember it, um, was telling somebody to trust their neighbors. Like that's that's the only way that I could get into. It. Otherwise. Like calling out two roles, okay. that, that's two different things that I just wouldn't do, and I don't. Got think, it. I don't believe mechanically that's in the spirit of advice you could give. Okay, good. Then I'm just gonna stick with fortune teller because since I'm in neck deep with him anyway, and um, uh, he's got a fortune teller, yes. So I'm not lying. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're gonna go with and this folks is why i don't story tell <laughs> the truth is the best lie <laughs> it really is <laughs> all right all right See ya. thank you that's what a boom dandy would say exactly exactly i, I, I want it so I, badly for you astra i, 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 I want it dong. i want it so badly what the boom dandy yeah yeah, it's just it's such a great thing. And what a great, uh, like, experimental character. It's so good. That was great. It's one of my faves. Anyway, welcome to day three. Nominations are open. Tell Dak me. nominates Astra. Dak nominates Astra. Please tell us why. Okay, so I am the courtier. Night one, I drank with the boom dandy. Today is our last chance to kill said Boom Dandy. And Astra is in the Boom Dandy pain. Granted, I am also in the pain, but 
I mean, I can understand why when I think Blue Dandy. So, um, I think today, asterisk kill. Uh, that way, the Boom Dandy doesn't go boom. And that's why I chose the Boom Dandy was because I wanted the game to last minimum at least three days. All right. Astra, your defense. Um, do what you feel. All right. It'll take five to put Astra Pertinent. on the block. Astra could be the Nodashi being put in a Boom Dandy investigator ping. I would really rather the Boom Dandy go boom. No. I mean, this oh. is a good story, but it seems like a story. That seems crazy. Yeah. That, that was overvoted as well. Oh, yeah. Six is enough. Oh, I thought there were... And we're back to Yumi being evil. I don't know. Astra. I'm not evil. I thought there were only four hands up. Astra nominates JP. Astra. Uh, if there's a fisherman in play, I would get your advice now. Nominates JP. Please tell us why. Um, there are a number of people around town who know that I'm trying to lean into the Boom Dandy Bluff because I am a powerful townsfolk role. I would like to keep gathering information. JP very well could be a no-dashy candidate because I don't think Dak is probably the Boom Dandy either. So let's finally get JP. It's been so hard to get JP. All right, well, JP. I will, I will say each time it's been one vote shy. Um, it's fine. I've got, I'm just going to out my information now as part of my defense and you can do with it with what you will. The fortune teller, I have a night one yes on just Jack and Cookie. The night two no on Astra and Afro. I have a night three no on Jules and the Lost. Ideally, I'd love to like, cause I'm sus, I'm not gonna get killed in the night probably. I'd love to get one more potentially poison information night on the three at the bottom <laughs> to see if I get another yes or not. But um, there it is. Bless you. But I understand if you have to close worlds cause it makes sense. All right, it'll take six to tie, seven to die. What are the odds that this is a play from Astra so they don't not blow up today? Come on. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm I, I don't know. I don't know how much I trust Dak's story, but both of them seem kind of crazy. Zach. That's why I didn't vote. Astra is the dandy. I told everybody that I was either the courtier or the or the Slayer, and if I was the Courtier, I drank with the Boom Dandy. I told everybody that day one. So, If yeah. you did drink with the Boom Dandy and Astra doesn't blow up, I'm going to be so upset. Well, I'm not the I think a Fortune Teller yes might be a good enough. idea to go after. Yeah, I'm in a Fortune Teller no here, people. Come That's on. That's what I would like to do. Yeah. yeah. And I actually, yeah, we got a Storm Club um, player. Was that the night that the Mathematician got a three? No, it was the night that the Mathematician got a one. Uh, okay. Okay, then nom them. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I guess I'll just do uh, JP will nominate Just Jack. I don't, I don't think Just Jack is the demon. JP nominates Just Jack. Please tell us why. Uh, it's one of my only fortune teller yeses between the possible Storm Cop person and Just Jack. I still think of the two, if one of them is the demon, it would more likely be Cookie than Just Jack, but I, I'd rather kill one of them or one of the three at the bottom. But... All right. Just Jack, your defense. The irony of ironies is I actually just went and used my fisherman advice and was told that I should trust the fortune teller and their information, and uh, now it paints me as a potential demon candidate. So It paints me as not a demon. That means Joe Cookie. <laughs> All right. That It'll eats take the heck out of you at least being six evil. Six to die, seven to die. Does there, there doesn't have to does there have to be a mathematician? No. No. No, there does oh, not have to okay. be one. Okay. Yep. And if there isn't, then it's an extra bluff for evil because they know it's not in play. Yeah. Right. Two is not enough. Final call. Yumi nominates Cookie. Yumi hmm. nominates Cookie. Please tell us why. You're on the other half of a fortune teller, yes, that the fortune teller is to be believed. Your math numbers don't make any sense given the information we have in town and what we know is in play as of right now. So it's reading more like demon or minion with a bluff because they know something isn't in play or like, it's, it's just not reading good to me. All right, Cookie, your defense. 
this is something that I brought up in a couple of conversations, but I do find it very interesting that the person who's claiming to be the fortune teller decides to pick the person who's storm caught the first night. Whether or not you're evil JP or not, it just seems very that. suspicious. Um, I think this is evil trying to paint me as being evil, and I would be very interested to see if I get if my number increases due to the fisherman's ability, because I don't know if trusting the fortune teller is a good idea here, especially since me and Joe Stack are the only two that have gotten yeses. All right, it'll take six to tie, seven to die. And I had a conversation with Katie very early possible. on, and I did I would paint not the world that uh, you know, a, a storm-caught mathematician would make a great red herring as well. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, it could be a red herring in that possibility, too. Jules, but the numbers did, still don't make true. any sense for the night that you got them. Jules, can you give me your what you were? Because I'll Three be happy to out my... If there are you no more numbers, I will bring the day to okay. close in ten. Because if you are what I think you are, I think I may know who the demon is. Kablooey. Let's do it. Come on, Astra. Be the boom dandy. <laughs> Oh. Astra is executed and dies. And so everybody goes to sleep. Ah, yeah. All right. I either blame Dak or I'm sorry you weren't the boom dad, Astra. Astra, can I talk to you tomorrow? Uh, after I talk to Jules, yep. Oh, that's perfectly fine. Who's Greg Googly Moogly. <laughs> well, now I can't kill JP. Um, uh, I'm down to either you, me, or blind. Or hope that the lost was, in fact, the goon, and nobody dies tonight. Um, I'll hit... Um, Christ, they're both acting goonish. I'll, I'll try Yumi. All right, Yumi it is. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Hi, Yumi. God damn it. <laughs> I need you to change uh, your alignment because you are no! not evil. <laughs> no! <laughs> ah, like it was bound to happen eventually, but damn it happened early in the game that I can change to good and then I can't myself in the game. Ah! <laughs> <sighs> okay, thank you. See you tomorrow. Hello, JP. <laughs> so, is, is either my information is is perma poisoned, or I'm just they're like <laughs> nobody trusts JP. It's fine. <laughs> Although, how the town does not kill me to this point is insane. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I could write the final three. <laughs> 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 I'd put my money on you and the two yes beings. <laughs> that would be the Probably. best. <laughs> oh, man. And, like, I haven't checked myself, obviously, but I'm not going to do that because, again, like, I know what I am and I don't want that to confuse things for me. Uh, and I was going to do, like, the I've been doing around and it would be Dak and Yumi, but I think I'm going to sort of already believe Dak might be evil. Uh, so I'm going to pick Yumi and Blind. All right, you check Yumi and Blind and learn that no, neither one of them is a demon. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. I see ya. Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Cookie. Hi. I am here to let you know that one player's ability worked abnormally due to another's. Darn it. <laughs> uh, it's been consistently won, but I was really hoping for something higher. Because am I incorrect in uh, assuming that if uh, somebody used an ability during the day then I and it worked abnormally, I would get that info that night? 
Um, it says each night. So it's, I run it as through the night phase. Okay, so daytime powers don't mean it, don't make a difference. Yeah, if something were to happen during the day, no. Okay, cool. Thank you. Which I'm actually struggling to think of, like, what could misfire during the day? I guess a poisoned slayer could misfire during the day. But for the most part, I don't think... <laughs> um, oh, yeah, fishermen could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it was safe for this game because it doesn't do like nothing happened during the day so it's not a well it says it just says each night how many players abilities worked abnormally oh since dawn there it is right there let me clarify hey math i made a mistake <laughs> it does count Yeah, your token reads since dawn, so it would be day and night. Since the last time you got something. Oh, never mind. You can't hear me. <laughs> I dropped by to let you know. No, I made a mistake. It does. It does include your token says since dawn, so it's the whole day night cycle. Okay, yeah. does my number change? Nope. Okay, thank you. Good. I'm glad that clarity came out. Uh, let's see. That's it. And the lost map. Good morning, Ravenswood Bluff. The lost is now lost. It makes sense. Oh. Yep. Um, makes sense. Uh, Afro is evil. Um, I'm the chambermaid. I check you in Afro night one and got a one. Afro is claiming a role that doesn't wake. Then I check Afro and Z night two because Z was also claiming a role that wouldn't wake night two. Got another one. Then I checked blind and cookie and got a one which corroborates both blind and cookie's claims. Afro is just evil. But the problem Why? is Afro is claiming an outsider, and I don't know where the other outsiders are. Um. Okay, I have a claim of outsider elsewhere. Okay. Uh, on blind specifically. Uh, I believe I have blind's real claim. Oh. And okay. I trust it based. I mean, I guess outsiders don't wake up too, but I yeah. Yeah. Uh, we could we there was a no death knight. There could be a red mustache somewhere. Well, in my world, Afro is a Puka candidate, having woken night one when you don't wake. Fair enough. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, the night. The mathematician three. He was what? a Puka poisoned and didn't die. What? Like, say more, Charles. <laughs> Hang on. No, that was night two. There was no day. Night two. That doesn't work. Um, but like you could, you could have you could effectively like screw with the mathematician info with Puka poison, and then they wouldn't die, and there would be a night of no deaths, and it would be weird. Mm -hmm. But it's the information is wrong that way. Okay. No oh, worries. maybe it's a Godfather minus one, and Afra is still the demon in that world, and there's a goon out there. Yeah. Yeah, that could still work. Yeah. Also possible. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's just that's my info. So, I trust okay. blind. Um, I don't trust Afro. Interesting. I don't really trust blind if he's not well, if he's not an outsider. Well, blind doesn't wake up, so blind is either I don't know what the Godfather or the mm. Boom Gandhi, or I guess the Widow. I guess could be a minion. Okay. Yep. I mean. Dak seems to be the most likely Boom Dandy candidate. Yeah. Given the ping and that he was specifically creating an excuse for you not to explode. So. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Good luck out there. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.
tell her information was bad. Uh, mm. But it's it, like, un- unless there was like a pivot, I don't know. So you and JP are not on the same team. Interesting. That makes me want to kill him, but I gotta know. I mean, of course, your information could just be poisons, and then we are both townsfolk. Ugh. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's also a possibility. Okay. I don't know what the move is here. Let's see if we can... Well, at least that clears that up. By the way, I hit Yumi last night. Never many other people. Um, okay. So, oh, drunking someone early on, I thought was a bad idea. Yeah, I don't think there's a whole um, lot of information left, if I'm honest. No. Like getting rid of a sweet light need, now you, is fine. Do you know anything about blind? Blind? Um. I mean, he uh, he lied to me. He said he came clean. Dong. Oh, boy. I just, I think you were poisoned, Astra. Welcome <laughs> back, everybody. I have an announcement to make before we go into Nam's. Uh, unfortunately, this app does not have it, so I am going to make sure everyone acknowledges there is a Deus Ex fiasco. I made a mistake last night. There's really nothing I can do about it, so the game Yo, will either continue sweet. or we can try it again. Well, let's keep going. Does the person know the mistake? Yeah. Um, I mean, unless the mistake was that Astro was the demon in the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's one heck of a mistake. After <laughs> was the boom game, I, I, I think it'll wash itself out, and everyone will understand and go. Eh, well, yeah, kind of. Yeah, I, I think, think I, the person knows. I think it's fine. Yeah, I think I figured out where the three came from. I don't know why I didn't think about this before. Um, demon hit a goon. The demon didn't hit a goon on the second night. Why? Okay. Why? Because I'm the goon, and I've been good until last night. Yeah, but if you were evil, you'd be saying that too. No, I wouldn't, because I've promised radical honesty between three people. Yeah, Yeah, she was talking to me in the middle of the night and was like, yeah, I've been been hit. So she was saying that early in the night. I want to to play for for good this game. If I didn't, I wouldn't be doing this. That is fair. Okay, well, there's that's the first outsider wait, I've heard wait, of. So that's wait, good. wait, that's yep. that's. No, oh I God. have what does this I have mean? another outsider. No, I've got two outsiders. Yeah, I'm. I mean, at this point, I'm also going to map because I don't think we are really going to get much useful information going forward. So me dying is not bad. Uh, I'm the sweetheart. Or at least me dying is not really going to be much of a detriment. Afro but. has been checked in two chambermaids by me and is seen to have woken. So. I still think you've been poisoned, uh, Astro, because twice? Boss no. dying last night and me turning evil, there's a poisoner and potentially a godfather minus one with a balloonist, unless Lost and Afro specifically are evil together. If Cookie and Christine are killed, she's the, the dashi you could be perma poisoned. Noms are open. What was that, JP? I was just saying if, if Cookie and Christine happen to be evil together, then Cookie being the dashi poisons Astro. That is true. I'm not saying that's necessarily the world that I'm buying, but it, um, 
I I see. I I know that after you said like it's okay for you to. I I almost feel like it's probably in town's best interest to get me out because I'm I'm being framed pretty hard, and I'm already gotten nose on every single person except for Cookie, Jack, and Dak. So I, even if I get another day of information, I'm not gonna get anything worthwhile. Um, JP, I think you're still worth keeping alive. I mean, I don't want to die. I'm just saying, like, I I don't want it to be final three and like, oh, oh you know, what? we had to kill JP every single time. We should get him this time. Have you checked? Well, out JP? what's your as? Name? Sorry. Sorry, say that again. Just your full info. Yeah, yeah. Uh, night one, yes, on Cookie and just Jack. Night two, no, Astra and Afro. Night three, no, uh, Jules and the last because I skipped over Dead Z and myself. And then night four, I was going to do Dak and Yumi, but I thought Dak might already be evil or just what uh, he claimed. So I went with Yumi and Blind and got a no again. So you have a yes on Afro? No, a yes. No on Afro. Afro. Yeah, that's the only yeses I have. And then not check Dak or myself. Well, I was the balloonist and I got in order Yumi, Blind, and JP. Yumi was immediately honest with being an outsider. And when I talked to both Blind and JP, uh, they did not know who had claimed outsider or if anybody had. And both of them were pretty steadfast. No, I have to be the, the townsfolk. So my information poisoned. could be wrong as well. It could, I could be poisoned or it's um, probably one of the two of them. Are we still in? A, is it a, still a book of world? When uh, can't you know, be much other. We closed out the most viable Nodashi world, I think. I had a, a storyteller question. Yep. For town. Um, so if we have a Puka and a Stormcop player, um, the Puka can pick the Stormcop player and poison them, but they won't die. Um, does the poison go away the next night, or do they remain poisoned like indefinitely? I, uh, what's the interaction? I rule it as the poison would go away um, if for nothing else it just breaks the spirit of the game for you in, in that kind of situation to just be able to perma poison someone and still keep poisoning other people. Um, the mechanic yeah. of the puka is once they make the selection, the previously poisoned player dies and is no longer poisoned. So that act that action would happen except the, if there's a Stormcot player in play, they couldn't die. That's the only thing that changes that whole thing. The, the poison would still wear off. Unless, of course, they were chosen okay. again. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to confirm that. Thank yep. you. Christine? So, um, with the no death night one, I know, Ephra, you are probably insinuating possibly Cookie got... Uh, whatever but um other than a puka what are some other ways that there would have been no deaths on um, night one sailor yeah sailor or goon basically sailor drank with it the wasn't team. but it Demon? wasn't goon for that mm -hmm. sunk kill i mean on it got, there's the only one dead on night one is the storyteller though, so. well well it couldn't be a sunk kill on that one and I died. Well, we, we, mean, we mean night two. We mean night two. No one died. Oh, it is night two. Right, right, right. Okay. I'm talking yeah, yeah, yeah. We mean, yeah, we mean like the first night that a player could have died. So night two. Um, so you mean, do you think that there are two minions alive based on what's happened to you? I don't know if there are two minions alive, but I know there's a poisoner alive. I think the demon candidates are Cookie and Afro. There's, there's literally a fortune teller no one. I think. I think it's got to like, be is... blind and JP. Like, JP's poison, or information like, last night wasn't poisoned. I can't speak for before that, but the information that Astra has in correlation with what JP has, if they're on the same nights, don't make sense. We need to decide if we're going to kill JP today or tomorrow. Final call for noms. I think it doesn't matter. I think I, I think JP will nominate. Alive. JP nominates who? Yeah. Blind. Okay. All right. JP nominates blind. Please tell us why. I heard there was last call, so I, I, I don't, like I said, I don't care if, if Tom wants to kill me because I, I, I get the world you need to close there, and I'm being framed pretty bad, pretty heavily, pretty well. The um, thing is, if if the last balloonist information is correct, then, and Yumi is the goon, then I know that Blind 
from my perspective, has to be a minion, right? So it's an evil. Why don't we just kill an evil? All right. Blind, your defense. Uh, there are a lot of sources of droisoning, and Cookie got a three on the night that Lost got my name. Um, but you can kill me if you want. That's true. All right. It'll take four to put Blind on the block. Uh, yeah, I put my info in chat. I, I think that's a based on my bad info. Idea. Blind is at worst a minion based on my info. This is not. Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. Minion. Yeah. But, yeah, but I mean, why blind would you... or JP? Is it to both be town folk? I if think blind I and JP both so need to live today. today. Yeah, can we go for a demon cannon? Uh, I think blind Blind nominates just Jack. Please tell us why. Uh, just Jack is a Nodashi candidate for me. Just Jack, your defense. Uh, I wouldn't. That would be a heck of a tentacle getting all the way down to you, blind. Um, I, I, I just, I given my information. Um, uh, I, I am told to trust JP. So if you are trusting JP, then I think you have to trust me. That's all. Right. And unfortunately, I'm in a fortune teller yes ping with JP, so... <laughs> yeah, Someone's poisoned. JP very much. It'll take it's five to put Jack on the block, four to tie. Well, at least I'm not puka poisoned. You if... probably want both potential good picking rolls alive. I'm not, yeah, I'm not puka poisoned because I would be dead. But right, I lower it I don't it's want possible it. I was poisoned. I don't know. No, it's like there's good picking rolls alive, but if evil evil knows who I am now, so unless we get rid of the uh, poisoner, I'm going to keep getting picked every night because they pick more. They pick first prior to everyone. So, so that's your rationale for being okay with blind dying today, because in your yes. mind, there are many. Okay, I mean it. the sailor picks before the poisoner. If yeah, yeah, but there's no, no sailor models, claim. I'll bring the day to a close in ten. I heard of a sailor claim, but but things. But stuff. <laughs> that uh, the sale claim I heard backed off of it. Okay. I don't think we have a sale. The only I picking role that I know is sailor. alive is JP. So if people are trusting JP, that's the only Blind person that I can trust. Is executed <laughs> and dies. Good night, everyone. Wow, so quiet. I love having an existential crisis. <laughs> yeah, I'm having an existential crisis. <laughs> Everyone's having a crisis. I'm just trying to sleep. You get a crisis. You get a crisis. Thanks, Oprah. <laughs> oh, hi, Talia. You excited? <laughs> of course. Hi, JP. Hi. <laughs> Um, okay, so I have a new friend here. This is Talia. Oh, hi, Talia. Say, say hi to Chad and everyone watching forever on YouTube. No, nope. yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, oh, boy. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to pick Yumi because maybe we were lucky. Uh, and uh, I will pick uh, Yumi and just Jack. Oh, can you hang on a second? I have to answer a question. Yeah. Uh, I'll come back with Yumi just Jack, but give me a sec. No. Uh, in, a, in, a, in a theory where someone picks the goon, the first person who picks the goon is goon drunk and the goon's alignment is set for the night. Okay, so if I pick JP and he's poisoned, but he still picks the... He fortune tellers the... Goon, then Definitely. the goon turns good. Yep. Shit. I have to hit JP anyway. I think at this point I have to do it. Okay. All right. Thanks. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, no. uh, all right. So you said Yumi uh, just... and just Jack. Yep. Uh, you learn no, neither one of them is the demon. All righty. Sounds good. See ya. Right. 
Hello, Yumi. Am 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 I am I blue? Am I? I need you to change the alignment of your token because you are now good. Yeah! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no. Yeah. I think I, I know no, two. Man. I think I know two evils. I don't know where the third one is, but. But depending on what happens in the morning, we'll know something. Hello, Cookie. <laughs> My brain is frying, man. Hit me with a number. What am I got this time? I'm here to let you know that one player's ability worked abnormally due to another's. What the heck, Steve? Am I, tr am I poisoned? Is this something I don't know. I mean, it's possible. Bye. See ya. Wonder if Gotta you keep your story straight, huh, line. JP? <laughs> Always. <laughs> Good morning, Ravenswood Bluff. No one died last night. <gasps> I'm good. Yes. Ah. ah. <laughs> How? So they sunk a kill. Where's they sunk a kill? Oh, Christine and JB, oh, you're talking. Who? Oh, maybe maybe blind was the target, and it's a puka game. I think it is a puka game. I got another one, by the way. So that that is a that is misinformation every single night. No, but J like there there is misinformation every single night. But JP had to have chosen me last night because right after I told the loss that I was losing hope that I was going to change, Scuba Steve woke me up and told me to change my alignment, and I screamed. And maybe in <laughs> the Puka world, Afro could be the demon. Astro sitting. Astro sitting like, up here my, at eleven yeah, where's p.m. The other where's, for three... where's the other outsider then? The Lost and Afro specifically have to be evil together then, because otherwise, where's the other outsider? It... It's a base two. Balloonist adds one. If it's a Godfather minus one, that that's two outsiders. Lost can't exist if Afro isn't real, because it would be a Godfather minus one. If hmm. I had I any power, poison. I would have gotten you flipped earlier if I were evil, Yumi. But yeah, because Lost knew the entire game that I was the goon, so... Sure, so in your world it's just Cookie then. Cookie, you're just Jack. And we didn't kill any of the demon cannons yesterday. We yeah, a minion. Here's, here's the problem. My, my demon candidacy is literally pointing at jp just jack or afro and... i trust jp after tonight i don't give i don't care what anybody says i trust jp after last <laughs> night because he's the only well, person that's alive that can pick me that was that, that was the information i was given by uh the storyteller when i asked for fisherman advice which means yeah and, uh, and, and when you asked that i got a one so i so you're i'm Either JP uh, yeah, or I mean, I, your information. Like I don't think that it was I a I don't think that it was Puka last night. I think they just sunk a kill to try to go into building the Puka world that everybody's building right now to screw with everybody because the one you got was probably from JP choosing me because otherwise I wouldn't have changed alignment. Yeah, yeah that's possible. True. That's true. I mean, it doesn't have to mean that there's a math. Like Cookie could still be wrong, but like that. Yeah, I, I think I think you yeah. sort of got me on the side of probably it's just Jack. Because again, I mean, for no death, I'm leaning towards Puka. And yeah, especially with it happening twice. And, or, like you said, Jack or Demon or whoever chose Yumi. I just said Jack because I think it's Jack. It could right. be the third evil player that I don't know. I just think he's evil. And I think that either Z or Astra is evil. Although it would um, be it would be a strange choice to choose. Like, you'd, you'd be signaling something... You'd be. I mean, you, I guess you'd have to have a conversation with Yumi, be like, "Hey, I'm going to keep you evil," but then right. you pretend that you turned. Yeah, Good. but I almost think like if we did get a minion or something, then it would have been like, "Well, we're just going to turn her back as soon as the demon doesn't pick her," and that gives right. us more opportunity to hit the demon. Like, yeah, um, just possible worlds. Uh, Afro was looking for my heart for my claim, and I gave it to him. Okay. Um... So, what do you think, Cookie or just Jack, then? That's what I think. Right. Maybe Yumi. Yeah. 
Well, if your ping is on the Lost, then the Lost is actually the Balloonist, but... Yeah, but that doesn't really help us a whole lot. They're very possibly Droizened. Hmm. Hmm, I don't like this blind. I think in my world you have to be a minion. And then that means the Lost might not be the Balloonist? I don't know. Use the Swisherman info. I my number didn't change. I think. And then that would make him. That would make him and JP. Him and JP are always on the same team. Sure. So if I, maybe. if we if we think JP is good, then Yumi is a flipped goon who we should kill, right? To lock her in. How many players do we have left? Like One. six? Is that right? Yeah, we could. Yeah, we could. Um, we of... But we should also, like, that just makes <laughs> Afro probably the demon. Yeah, Dak's also been very, very quiet. Have you played with him a lot? I haven't played that many games with him. I played with him. I I play with him a little bit. Uh, he tends to be quiet, but at the same time, he also well, tends to be evil. Dak is, Dak is a minion at best. Yeah. I'm interested to hear from Jules, because I know... S some, someone in town yesterday mentioned oh, that Dak God. is a potential candidate, but I'm not seeing that one. So no, I'm leaning toward cooking me. Dak's just a candidate in the sense that I haven't got a no or a yes on Dak. Like, that's the only... Well, there's no back, information yeah. clearing or not clearing Dak. Exactly. Yeah, that, that was the thing. Jules, what were you? Slayer. Okay. Again, which is why my Afro Jules... I had Jules birthday. You to me, you bastard. I still think you're a poison <laughs> Astro. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I just wanted to live to day three. I was all... Same what here. night did you get... Did you pick them, Astro? Um, I picked Afro Jewels night one, got a one. Picked Afro Z night two, got a one. Afro has been shown to wake all the time. I, I mean, unless you can find some Astro very convoluted was... outsider math situation where I would, from the start, know that there would be a it, it's it's like I was thinking like it's just like it's just... unless Afro and Lost are specifically on an evil team together they can't be evil because otherwise there has to be a godfather minus a godfather minus one there can't be a balloonist and a sweetheart in this game with me existing unless we have a third outsider hiding somewhere and it's not a godfather and again if i were evil i would have done everything i could to turn you evil faster i wouldn't have waited until the night i died uh christine you have your hand up first yes so um Town. Um, other than potentially blind being Puka poisoned last night, uh, or being Puka poisoned and dying uh, with no deaths, or Yumi being picked by the demon and pretending to flip, is there a third option why there was no deaths? They sank. I see you. I'm in the firm world. That, that that like, I'm so, in the firm yeah. world that they probably just sank to try to keep building the Pukal world that everybody's been building because I was changed good last night. I am not faking that. I am too happy to be. What's your alternate? That. What's your alternate demon then, Yumi? Wait, so, so you were previously evil though. I was. Yeah, I was evil yesterday. Yeah. I was evil yesterday yeah, when last night there was a poise. Yes, I said I was going to be <laughs> radically honest. I have a question for Astra. At any point in time when you picked Afro, did you also likewise pick Yumi? Nope, I put my info in chat. I can keep putting it in chat. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Astra didn't pick uh, me. Astra checked Afro against Jules twice. I just want to make sure that Astra's information might not be. That's what I mean. I think Astra was poisoned. Uh, so, Cookie, you have your hand up? Yeah. Uh, at this at this point, knowing what everybody is, or at least what everybody's claiming, and I keep getting ones or more i got a one yesterday as well or last night i guess i should say uh at this point i think given everything uh that pretty much hard confirms jp as being what he claims to be and i think the demon is either just jack or afro it can't be afro i mean there, there's both a fortune teller no on me and outsider count 
roughly confirming, assuming that you believe the lost who died in the night is the blues. I think, mm. Cookie, the demon candidates are you and me. I think it is. So I know. He's going to nominate just Jack. Cookie nominates just Jack. Tell us about it. So, at this point, I don't really know how much we can really trust the fortune teller info, other than the fact that I think the fortune teller is correct here. I think the fortune teller existing is correct. Um, I expect to get a reverse nom on me. Uh, if you guys want to get me out, fine. But I think we both need to go. Just Jack, your defense. Uh, yes, uh, Cookie's correct. I will be counter noming here because, uh, ironically, I was told to trust the fortune teller who has put a yes on me. So uh, it's not me. So I'm going to be counter noming Cookie after this. All right. It'll take three to put just Jack on the block. Do we want to get this as high as possible, or should I save my vote? I, I would say save my vote. There's some shenanigans going on. That's a lot of dead votes. Okay, well, I'm. Yeah, that's a lot. Five is enough. Just Jack is marked for execution. Uh, Cookie, uh, who was your first conversation? Was that with Christine? That was with Christine. Okay. Okay. Just Jack will counter nominate Cookie. Just Jack nominates Cookie. Tell us why. Uh, Cookie is the other person with a fortune teller yes on them, uh, uh, other than me. That is still alive, so uh, I was told to trust the fortune teller, and I know it's not me, so uh, I believe it to be Cookie. All right, Cookie, your defense. Um, honestly, you guys know everything that I could possibly tell you, so make a decision. All right, it'll yes. take six to put Cookie on the block, five to tie. Is he from what you were asking earlier? Because um, I I don't think it's a puka. I don't think it's an imp because there's been too much poisoning at this point. If it's not a nodashi, it's a leech. And if it's a leech, then Cookie might specifically be the leech host. If the numbers don't make sense or do make sense. If not, it's somewhere else. Oh, why did you tell me that after voting was over? Final what the problems. heck? I got cut off before someone cut me off before, so I couldn't finish my thought. And oh. I completely forgot until now. What if JP's the leech host? And that's why I keep getting ones. Well, he'd, you wouldn't, you'd still get a good number. There's probably a minion alive, right? I mean, it just tells me that Billy's malfunctioning. If there are no more noms, I'll bring the day to a close in 10. Yeah, but I feel like the. Fisherman of Iceland wouldn't be trust the fortune teller. Well, I mean, if well, Jack was lying right. about that. Well, if Jack's lying about that, might be, but... Jack, anyway. That's Jack, what I'd like to nominate Afro. Is oh, Jack, what? I'd like to nominate Afro. Jack nominates Afro. Boy, did you get in there by the skin of your teeth? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was muted. Sorry, I kept trying to holler that. Um, uh, Jack, please I'm going to hand off my... I'm going to hand off my accusation to Astra. I actually like what she has to say on that situation. All right, Astra. Uh, I have nothing to say from a boom dandy deck. <laughs> All right. Afro, <laughs> your defense. Uh, don't kill me. I feel like I'm, I mean, the chairman information points at certain worlds, which I'd actually like to discuss a lot tomorrow, but um, fortune teller no on me. Uh, outsider count at least suggests that there's probably an outsider in play who's not Yumi. Um, don't do this. This is unbelievably bad for Jack. All right. It'll take six to put Afro on the block. Five to die. There would have to be a god. Now, not a how, no, but that's what I mean. Godfather minus one, the Lunas plus one with a poisoner. Yeah, yeah. Afro's been it's lying and it's the boom it's, dandy. It's, it's probably Cookie. All right. Bring or the major blows in five. It's not JP. And I don't think it's JP. I don't, I don't think it's JP. JP's the only one who can change me good. I will not let anyone kill JP unless he <laughs> dies at night and I can't stop. <laughs> I will JP's die also, on that hill. Jack JP's also the one. is executed and dies. And you have closed a world. The right world. Hey! hey! <laughs> 
Yay! <laughs> wow. That scared me. All right. <laughs> Um, I want to. I want to thank Gibbo for this this script. It's it's an absolute banger, and uh, I can't wait to run it again. Uh, so here's the interesting fun. There was actually a Stormcut uh, mathematician in this game, when on night one, JP, your fortune teller, chose Cookie, their red herring, and just Jack, the puka. <laughs> Wow. Uh, JP, I called it. <laughs> I told you it would make a great red herring. <laughs> uh, the first day, the town decided to execute poor Christine at JP's behest, who was the undertaker, who was also puka poisoned on night one. <laughs> there it is. Aww. That makes sense. <laughs> Uh, night two, the poisoner decided to poison Cookie, your mathematician, uh, and the Puka made a selection. Uh, the following day, the town decided to exe uh, almost executing JP, <laughs> but then <laughs> lifted it, crippling evil when they killed Z, the poisoner. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. Oh, <laughs> that hurt so much. <laughs> That was brutal. And also on day one, I heard somehow the town proclaim, it's a balloonist plus one and a godfather minus one. When the following night, uh, the puka chose the balloonist, everyone woke up to Jules dying in the night because they had been previously puka poisoned. Um, the night after, when the town decided to execute Astra for being the uh, courtier drunk boom dandy, was actually the chambermaid, who was poisoned on night one by Z the Poisoner. Um, then comes the Deus Ex fiasco on the following night, when Just Jack the Puka chose Yumi, your goon, turning them evil... And you woke up to the lost dying, who was actually your balloonist, who got incorrect information on day three from being puka poisoned the previous night and should not have died. That was my Deus Ex fiasco. Um, Thanks, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, it didn't seem to matter Tell though, because good had crippled evil <laughs> and figured out the worlds um, with Afro if, subtly claiming almost to the entire town that they were in fact the sweetheart. Uh, everyone trusted Yumi, everyone trusted the loss, mm -hmm. I would assume because after dying at night, after being picked by the Puka blind, your steward learned that the loss was good. Leaving poor Dak, your godfather who never got to kill anybody. Oh. <laughs> so did we, did we execute the Puka picks twice? Three times? Uh, you executed, yeah, you executed Christine. Yeah. Blind. Uh, and blind. And blind. <laughs> no, I, know. I was a, right a, about the minions. <laughs> well, Good job. I was goon hunting. Well, Steve, I was goon hunting and Tony yeah. is going to be writing a very, very strongly worded letter about your fiasco. <laughs> and we're going to see if we can get your license taken away from you, oh, young man. <laughs> but he's Out, a duck. I don't know if write very well. <laughs> I, I I trusted hard both the uh, Z and just Jack, and I would my role to them. <laughs> That's why you, when Steve pulled me into a chat one night, I'm like, well, for better or worse, I'm married to JP at this point. So. Go <laughs> 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 down with the ship. <laughs> oh, by the way, that last night, um, JP, you were puka poisoned and goon drunk. Yes. <laughs> wow. You don't know, you don't know how loud I screamed when I was in the chat with Steve when he told me I was good. You know, it's I was funny, gonna, originally well, I was going to pick back uh, and find out, I guess. I was going to pick Dak and uh and just Jack. But then I was like, "Oh wait, I, I might have a chance if Blind was a poisoner, which is what I was thinking. I could turn you back." I'm like, "Oh, let's do it." Yeah. My, well, you. I had hit you hoping to kill you and then I was going to hit uh Yumi again. But Yep. Oh. If only I really thought the game was alive. probably cooking. I thought a mm -hmm. final three of JP Cookie Jack would have been <laughs> absolutely hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would have been insane. <laughs> I I had to though because I had to get I, I had to turn Yumi back 
evil, but yep. Oh well. All right, that wraps us up for this episode of ECG Plays Blood on the Clock Tower. Uh, apologies for the Deus Ex fiasco. Uh, hey, I'm human, and if if I can do this and and let that happen, that means you can do this too. Um, because of that, I'm going to commit to not only running the script again, because I, I do like this script quite a bit. Um, I would love to see a lot of different interactions, but we are going to have the script's creator on stream to play it next time. Gibbo, let's make this happen. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and, um, well, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up. But more importantly, if you enjoy uh, helping people, then please consider subscribing to the channel so that we can put that YouTube algorithm to work to go out and find other people like yourselves to enjoy this content.